segment sponsored by Wataga Orthopedics. Today we've made our way here to Wataga Orthopedics in Johnson City and I'm talking with Dr. Greg Stewart. And Dr. Stewart, I want to be up front with our viewers. I am a patient here. I know everything that goes, kind of what goes on behind the scenes. But tell us more about the mission of Wataga Orthopedics. Well, we've been here uh, greater than 70 years now in Johnson City and now serving all of the Tri-Cities. And uh, the goal, of course, is to uh, get people from a hurt position yes. to a better position. Yes. Um, but to do that just as if they're a family to us, you know. And, uh, you understand what your patients are going through and you all try to accommodate them by having great access here. Yes, um, and it's crazy kind of how it's grown over the years. When I first started here, we only had one site uh, and we were open uh, from eight to five, Monday through Friday, just like a traditional clinic would be. Uh, now we've grown to three different sites with right. clinics in all the Tri-Cities. We're open eight to eight. Yes. Um, and then including hours on Saturday and Sunday now uh, after church. Now last year you opened the Center for Advanced Bone and Joint Surgery. Kind of fill us in on what's going, what the plan was for that center. Yeah, it was quite a process. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when COVID happened, the pandemic, it really kind of strained the entire healthcare environment. It was even before that we were starting to look at how we could transition a lot of what we do into an outpatient setting to be efficient and expedient. Um, when the stress came to the healthcare system, then that even prompted us further to kind of push harder to open up a center where we could um, operate on an outpatient basis, doing more and more complex surgery so that we catch someone from injury, move them all the way through the process as efficiently and as affordable as possible. And let's talk about y'all own and manage all of your properties. You, yes. you, you take care of everything. Tell us about that. That that goes to taking care of the patient as well. That's right. And. Um, when you're able to control kind of all the different aspects of care, then you kind of have a say in how those things are done. And um, whether that's the fitting of a brace, uh, the patient getting therapy right. after surgery and being able to communicate with the physician who actually uh, took care of that patient and the therapist who's currently mm -hmm. taking care of that patient. So there's one-to-one -one dialogue mm -hmm. there to the advanced imaging so that uh, that patient can move from being seen in an acute setting having advanced imaging, being seen by a subspecialist, right. all the way through surgery and therapy afterwards. And access, access, access. We can't mention that enough. Patients have access to care here. Yeah, we've tried to, it seems as we've expanded our hours, expanded our locations, um, people have just kept coming uh, because it allows them an opportunity to be seen, to have a problem addressed without having to access an ER or a wait time or a long health time or, or straining that system right. uh, that needs to be uh, a more acute setting, a, a, a high level of acuity for a patient. You know, we've been talking about access all day. You're actually going to have another location in Greenville that folks are going to be able to access soon in August. Yes, yeah, so uh, in addition to our three clinic spaces and the new surgery center that just opened, we're opening up a physical therapy clinic and walk-in clinic in mm. Greenville. And so we have a ton of patients who uh, come to Johnson City or right. to Kingsport or Bristol to have their surgery and then uh, back home to Greenville. Um, and so we needed a way of providing therapy services for those guys. And so again, part of that whole seamless care uh, idea. And let's talk about the Hurt app. You all have recently partnered with them. Yeah. So. Um, one of the things that I, I constantly get is a text on my phone uh, from uh, a friend. Hey, do I need to go to the ER? Right. What, what's going? I need. Do right. I need an X-ray of this? Um, and so we wanted to open that up to the community at large. And we've thought about this process for a long time. Uh, in the meantime, an app has uh, a company has uh, developed uh, yes. a way of having 24/7, 365 access to someone to help navigate mm -hmm. do I need an x-ray do I need to go make a visit will this get better on its own right so. and you got extended hours for your MRI I know a lot of folks need that MRI uh, to to show the doctor which way to go y'all got extended hours on your MRI now too we do and so it allows those folks who are working Monday through Friday 8 to 5 an opportunity to to get their imaging without yes. having to take off work all right um, and that's vitally important to their care Absolutely. All right. Dr. Greg Stewart, we appreciate you taking some time with us today. Yeah. Folks, it's Watago Orthopedics. They've got locations all over the Tri-Cities. They, they want to help you. They want you to have the access you need, and they provide it right here at Watago Orthopedics. The preceding segment sponsored by Watago Orthopedics.